Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Wake Up Call, and our scripture is Ezekiel chapter 3, where the prophet writes, After seven days the Lord gave me a message. He said, Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately. If I warn the wicked, saying, You are under the penalty of death, but you fail to deliver the warning, they will die in their sins, and I will hold you responsible for their deaths. If you warn them, and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning, they will die in their sins. But you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me. If righteous people turn away from their righteous behavior and ignore the obstacles I put in their way, they will die. And if you do not warn them, then they will die in their sins. None of their righteous acts will be remembered, and I will hold you responsible for their deaths. But if you warn righteous people not to sin, and they listen to you and do not sin, they will live, and you will have saved yourself too. I'm not sure there's anything quite so annoying as the sound of an alarm clock at 5 a.m. It interrupts dreams, it starts the dog barking, and pumps that early morning awareness that the workday beckons, and I'm still tired. It's a disturbance of the peace, and I'm not comfortable with that. Ezekiel was Israel's early morning alarm clock, the watchman for God's signal that there was work to do, righteousness that was failing, responsibilities ignored, and the devil to pay for defying God's holiness. Ezekiel's voice may have been the most annoying, irksome, and interfering sound they could hear. But alarms are not supposed to be comfortable. You don't want to sleep through it. It's impossible to read any of the prophets and not get a little uncomfortable. That is, if you've got an ounce of sense in your body. The message is always disconcerting, particularly for those who have been either fighting God or trying to ignore him. The duty of a prophet or watchman is to be a harbinger of judgment. Most people don't want to hear that. They'd rather concentrate on taking that vacation to Disney. But judgment is at the end of things just as surely as that sign-then-drive contract at the car dealership means you'll be paying big time at the end of the month. Scripture warns of such, both death and God's judgment following death. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 tells us that every person is destined to die once and after that comes judgment. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 Paul says, "We must all stand before Christ to be judged. We'll each receive whatever we deserve for the good or evil we've done in this earthly body." But the sound of the prophets' voices, like Ezekiel and Hosea, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and all the others, can also be reassuring. The reminder of judgment also signals the loving kindness of God, His forgiveness just waiting for us to return to Him. As a promise, this rates better than five stars on a hotel at Disney or the Riviera. It's a pathway right to the throne room in heaven. For you today, the next time your pastor preaches on either judgment or heaven, remember that both are always present. If you want one and not the other, the choice is always available. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.